something happened today that's completely unheard of in my home. And that is, I got both boxy charms <laughs> delivered on the same day at the same time. Can you believe it? Like I'm in shock because that never happens. Um, but <laughs> it happened today. So I thought, well, all right, then I'll open them with my, my friends <laughs> on camera and just see what's in them. And, um, we'll do that. So, um, I'm going to start with my base box. Um, this is the $25 box. I had a few issues last month. So, um, <laughs> It is what it is, you know. But maybe, maybe they'll redeem themselves this month. Here's what it looks like on the inside. If it's um, like this red color, that's how you know it's a base box. So, I'm just gonna pull out what I pull out and I'll talk about it as we go. So this <laughs> was the Luxie Wonderlust set. Create eye-catching looks with this five-piece rose gold synthetic brush set. This versatile collection includes a tapered blending brush, blending, I'm sorry, tapered shading brush, blending brush, medium angled brush, large shader brush, plus a brow and lash brush. Stash them in your Lexi pouch for glam on the go. They retail for $40. I think I had one Lexi brush and I wasn't happy about like the angle of it. These look a little different. These I might keep. <laughs> I don't need another brush, but I might keep these. These are super cute. They have a rose gold feral, and then the handles are like a periwinkle blue, yellow, I mean not blue, yellow, blue, um, purple. I think I will keep them. I'll go ahead and take them out. So here's all that I got. This is like an angled brush, and you know I like those for the outer corners. Um, this is like a packer brush, which is really nice. Does it say on them? Oh, a large shader brush. So I like to put these like on the, uh, to put my, I like to use this to put my makeup on like the front, like the larger portion of my lid. This of course is a spoolie, which is always good to have an extra spoolie. That's really the, I mean, not the reason I'm keeping the whole thing, but that's a big reason I want to keep it. I need spoolies all the time. This is a, just a regular blending brush, which I like the smaller ones. And then here is a tapered blending brush. There's, a, of course, a difference in size. So yeah, those are neat. So yeah, I'll keep them. The next thing is this, and I believe this was my choice item for this month. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. This multitasking full coverage concealer has a lightweight, easy to blend formula. It conceals dark under eye circles, blemishes, and other skin imperfections. I need that today. The retail value is $24. I was thinking today about like the higher end stuff in my collection. I have a lot of high end foundation. Not a lot, but that's what I'll spend my money on is foundation and the like eyeshadow palettes I'll spend money on. But for the most part, I don't spend money on like concealer very much. I have, I'm not saying that I haven't, but I, I usually don't spend a whole lot of money on concealer and the rest of my collection. Um, for the most part, it's <laughs> um, drugstore, so course I splurge all the time you all know me but this is what it looks like I've never tried anything from Dose of Colors before so I actually think this will be a good color for like highlighting it's a nice big doe foot I like that the packaging is really cute I mean it's simple but it's nice that it has like the meat your hue around here um I like it so I chose that and I chose the shade on it I like that did I show you guys the card? It's candy shop is the theme. I want some candy now. I don't need it, but I want some. I guess for Halloween candy shop, you know. Because I just saw the, <laughs> the bloodied hand. <laughs> okay, now I don't want candy. <laughs> so the next thing is this. 
This is the Ace Beauté Draw It Lip Liner Duo. The lip liner, <clears throat> the Draw It Lip Liners are super pigmented liners that draw on smoothly and can be used to line the lips or fill them, fill them in completely. It includes a sharpener at the base that can be used to sharpen the liner's tip. They retail for $16. I have some bronzer from Ace Beauté. Um, I just call it Ace Beauty. Um, that I really like. Um, is that all I have from them? I think it is. But I really love the bronzer and I got it in a boxy charm. Okay, I love the packaging on them. How cute is that? Um, but the actual colors, are, it's a red. And this one says be peachy, but it's more like a brown color. Oh, it's broken. Oh well. So here's the be peachy shade right here. And then this one is called So Gorgeous, the red shade is. Um, and the sharpeners are just on the end. You just pull out the color from the end. I was like, well, so how do you sharpen these? <laughs> I mean, like, to get more product, is this all the product you're gonna get? But there's like a little point here where you just like roll it up. This is from Symbiosis, uh, uh, Symbiosis, Symbiosis. Um, London. It is a tightening and resplendent eye mask. A revolutionary innovation in the beauty market in the form of an eye mask in cream to tighten, rejuvenate and brighten the delicate <sighs> in the form of a cream to tighten, rejuvenate and brighten the delicate eye area. This eye mask is fortified with hyaluronic acid. Um, Pululin? Pululin? <laughs> as well as shea butter and works to visibly reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. Ooh, it retails for $93. Okay then. Okay. Oh. Put a little on the back of my hand. Apply a thin layer to clean dry skin, allow to absorb into the delicate skin area around the eye, no need to wash off. I thought with a mask, you would have to wash it off. So it's just an eye cream, it's not a mask, okay. It's a little bit of a play on words. I mean, it feels good and hydrating. Put it on my back of my hand there. That's, not, I'll try it. I mean, you guys know I'm all about, heck, I've already had eye cream today, but why not put some more on, right? I forgot I didn't have makeup on. Okay, I'll put a little bit on my finger. I'll just do it like I do my others. That smells, that smells good. <laughs> okay, well I would not pay $93 for this, but if it's worth $93 and it actually helps, I'm all about okay. it. Last product. Oh yay, I wanted to try this brand. This is the Beauty Bakery. Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette. Beauty Bakery's Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette is a delightful morning medley of saturated mattes and shimmery shadows. This palette is perfect for the classic office to happy hour transitional touch-up. It retails for $38. Oh, it's cool tones. I like cool tones. Okay, to recap, we have the Luxie Brush Set. The Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. The Ace Beauty Draw It Lip Liner. The Symbiosis London Eye Mask. And the Beauty Bakery Eyeshadow Palette, which I am really excited about this. I'm really excited. I usually, some of these eyeshadow palettes we get are like really colorful and I don't like but I like that. So let me add up the value of my box. So the value of my box was $211 and you're guaranteed a value of 125. So I'm pretty impressed to be quite honest. Um, I like this box. They redeemed themselves. <laughs> so I do like this one. Good job, Boxy. So next we have the premium box and I just heard it like make noise. When it's blue on the inside, you know it's premium and it also says it right there. <laughs> And this is what it looks like. So this caught my eye when I was looking. Um, I was like, wait a minute, is that Mary Kay? 
because it looks like my Mary Kay lip gloss. <laughs> Pretty standard components, I know. This is Mary Kay, and this is what I got in my BoxyCharm. Um, but at first, I was kind of like, oh, did we get a Mary Kay item in here? I know that was very unlikely, but I was just asking, okay? So this, um, this is the Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. Okay, sorry, I had to say that slow. <laughs> This No More Air Kisses, our pure pigment formula stays true with soft satiny color that stays put from morning from morning peck to midnight smooch. The uniquely curved applicator hugs lips for a precise application. The built-in well delivers the perfect amount of color with each application and it retails for $21. The applicator, this is the exact same component given this is a gloss and that's a liquid lip. Okay, it's a little bit different. But look, who ripped off who? Because Mary Kay boasts about their will in their applicator and how it holds like I wiped it off but if you can see in there like it's still it, it has color in there. See, one swipe. But also, so see those side by side there. But if I hold, let me put this down before I make a mess. These up side by side, they are a little different up here, of course. So, I mean, I, like I said, granted, it is a pretty standard component. It's not like it was too innovative. And there may be more out there, but I just thought that was pretty, pretty wild. There's the color. I swatched it here. Okay, I like that color, honestly. And I think that that would be pretty for fall. It's called Beige Bite. We'll try it out and see. And, of course, this one's a liquid lip, not a lip, liquid, not a lip gloss. These are Go To Skincare Exfoliating Swipe Swipeies. These single use exfoliating, exfoliating pads soaked in an all natural solution get rid of dead skin cells and hydrate the skin. The well documented effectiveness of lactic acid and most gentle of all AHAs is combined with ultra hydrating essential oils to create a face exfoliator that thoroughly removes dead skin cells, refines skin texture, minimizes, <laughs> minimizes the appearances of fine lines, and deeply moisturizes. They retail for $35. Hmm. Go to Swipeys. Do you see Swipeys on there? <laughs> At first I was like, is that Swipe Eyes? But there was no second E. Ooh, they smell citrusy. I like that smell. Okay, it says swipe three times a week at night after cleansing. Swipe a single pad all over the face and neck, avoiding the under eye area. Leaving solution on for 60 seconds. Rinse face. Follow with serum and or face oil, then face cream. Huh. Okay, I like this. I like to exfoliate, okay? I exfoliated today. That might be why my cheeks are red. This one's always red. I don't understand why, but it is. And whatever. Um, but I really like this and these will last for a little bit because you only do it two to three times a week or three times a week, but the smell is really good. All right. The next thing, another product from Clarins. I got a lip stain or something from them before. This is the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfect perfecting touch. This ultralight award-winning primer leaves an imp imperceptible veil all over the skin surface. Silkening micro pearls fill in pores, fine lines, and deep wrinkles. Vitamin E hydrates and nourishes for foundation-ready skin. Experience the clearance difference makeup with skincare benefits. This is $39 retail. Um, the go-to skincare was 35. I don't know if I said that. The swappies were 35. This is 39. So it's a primer. Wow. Oh. 
can even get a little hygienic scoop to get it out with. Oh, that is so satisfying. You can't tell me that's not satisfying. Oh, I don't even want to mess that up. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> just looking at that, just, just oh, that's amazing. Okay. Okay. I'll use some. I just got out a little scoop. I figure a scoop will do you, right? I think this is going to be poor filling. We're going to do makeup here in a minute. I love the feel. Oh, wow. That was really smoothing. This is the Kosas Sport Lip Fuel, an ultra hydrating hyaluronic lip balm delivering advanced lip care powered by active botanicals that transports you to a sport state of mind. This retails for $18. The packaging is really cool. Everything has hyaluronic acid. Universal Clear Baseline Fuel Lip Fuel. Hyaluronic Lip Balm. Energizing Protective Ultra Healing. Hmm. Okay. This is wild. It looks like this, okay? <laughs> and I was like trying to like unscrew this or whatever. No. It just pulls out. And then it rolls up. Oh, how cool. It doesn't take much to amuse me. It's minty. That smell reminds me. something. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay. Okay. Next, this was my choice item. This is also from Kosas. This is the Tinted, Tinted Face Oil Foundation, a clean featherweight light coverage foundation and hydrating skin elixir with application that takes as little as 10 seconds. The breathable formula, even skin tone, minimizes pores and erases imperfections while supporting them while supporting skin health. So I got the shade 3.5 Fair Light with Neutral Undertones. It's better, sometimes even though I'm more warm, it's better to go with neutral. However, I'm afraid that I chose the wrong one all the time. And two, you kinda just have to go with what they give you to choose from. It's very liquidy. That's the shade that's on the top. Is it gonna work? We'll find out. I'm going to use it in a second. Okay. It's a fluid ounce. That's what most foundations are. Tinted face oil. Is this good for oily people, though? Because it's a face oil. I mean, probably not. I like oil-free foundations. So, that's just me. And last but not least, this is the Illuminati Cosmetics Illuminati X. ISA Issa Issa eyeshadow palette. Illuminati Cosmetics has collaborated with Isabel Bedoya for an ultra versatile palette to create an evening glam look or a perfect daytime look. The shades range from pastels to bright colors and neutrals. There's a look for every person. This retails for $48. Oh, this was 30, no wait, $42. This was 30, 42. This is 48. Okay. Never heard of Illuminati Cosmetics before? Here's what it looks like. How pretty is that? It's really beautiful. I just, it's not really shades I'm going to wear. One shade that I'm just absolutely like drawn to, and this is a glitter. <laughs> Doesn't feel very nice though. Oh, okay. Wait, I got it worked up. Maybe it now. Maybe it does now. That's what I was trying to say. Izzy is the shade. That's really pretty though. I love glitter. I just don't like to wear it on my face. <laughs> well, that's nice. I don't know about this one. I'm not in love with it like I am the Beauty Bakery one, but this, I mean, it's nice. I'm not gonna say it's not. All right, let's recap. <laughs> what did I pull out first? Oh, the Laura Geller um, Liquid Lip. Then I pulled out the 
go to swipies for exfoliating then the clarins instant smooth perfect touch primer um the kosas lip balm which i'm it feels really nice the kosas tinted face oil and the illuminati palette okay let me add it up so the value of this box was 203 dollars so my base box was worth a few dollars more than my premium i don't know if that's ever happened before on the premium box you're guaranteed a value of what was it 175 dollars i believe so i did exceed the 175 dollars um but the base box was more which is really interesting that's just how it can happen i guess so um i like both boxes really uh, if i had to choose a winner i think my base box might be my winner um i just like more things individually in it however i like both boxes really so um not that i was comparing the two to have like a winner and a loser but the one i liked more i guess is what i should have said <laughs> so um yeah anyway let's try out some of the stuff and i've already got my primer on so let's do this tinted face oil blend two to four drops into skin using fingertips i'm not about fingertips but we'll do it so shake well two to four drops Okay. I feel like that was too much. It's very runny. Okay, do you see? Can you see it? I know it's not blended in, but there's like, it's kind of pulled up the primer that was underneath. They did not mix well together. And there's like it's rolling up don't like the coverage I do not like this product <laughs> for me there's no making that work um no thanks there's no let's try it and see if it's gonna work it's too oily i'm an oily girl there's no making this work no so no i don't like that that's like a hard no sorry y'all it's just no. It's not good. I don't know if I have anybody that I could pass that to that's more dry that would like it. I don't know. It's very, very weird in consistency. So I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me go put on some foundation and I'll be right back. Okay. So I just put some in my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in F6. Um, I did use the Clarins primer again, so it worked beautifully with that foundation. Um, I think it looks great. So I am happy with that. Just not happy with the tinted face oil, whatever. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> this actually looks the same color as my actual skin now because, um, I might need a little bit darker color of that foundation, but we're gonna use this anyway. This is the Dose of Colors um, Meet Your Hue Concealer in the shade Light 07. I think it might have oxidized a bit. I don't know. Nonetheless, it is what it is. I didn't wet my sponge to blend out my foundation, so I used the brush. Um, I forgot about wetting my sponge. So, yeah, this is definitely oxidizing. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can. Just a uh, fair warning. I'm gonna blend this out. It's like as it was drying, it was getting darker, and then when I moved that around, it got lighter. I don't know if it's just the concealer or concealer foundation combo, um, because that is a pretty full coverage foundation I had. Um, but this is very cakey on my skin. 
so um blend it out it doesn't look as oxidized as it did when it was just like sitting there before i blended it so that's nice um but i still i need to try it with maybe a different foundation to know how i feel um so i'm not counting it out completely But it's definitely not something I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Because it's just very cakey. And I'm going to set it because it keeps moving around a lot. So, Okay, I want to give it some time because sometimes when my foundation looks like this when I finish it and I just wait. Um, sometimes just letting it sit on the skin, it makes it look better. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, <laughs> um, I'm going to go finish the complexion um, because I don't have any blush, bronzer, highlighter any of that in the boxes so i'm gonna go do that um i'll come back we'll do the eyeshadow together and lips together so i'll be back okay so i'm back so i'm gonna use these luxie brushes and i'm going to spoolie through my brows just one last time i like to do that after i even put brow gel to me it just helps i don't know why I just do it. <laughs> so I'm going to take the bigger of the blending brushes and we are going to use this Beauty Bakery palette. Um, I just like this more and the Illuminati palette is pretty. I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of it, but there's a chance that I might. So we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to take this shade right here, Forehead Kisses, and I'm going to just blend that through my crease. It may not show up very much, but I was just going to see what it did. So it shows up just lightly, faintly, um, which is fine. That's totally fine. I'm gonna go into this shade here called Messy Hair. I love cool tones. Um, some people don't like cool tones, but I do. I love cool tones and I think they, they look good on your skin. And I know a lot of people like to wear warmer tones um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you like warm tones, go for it. I wear my fair share. Um, but I just, I think cool tones look pretty good on me personally. Um, so that's, I don't have a problem with them and I have cool and warm, uh, in my collection. So that blended that out really nice. Okay. I'm going to go back to forehead kisses just to blend the edges, which really don't need it but this is just a habit I've gotten into um maybe I need to get out of it who knows but I like to do that around the edges and then I'm going to take the yawning shade I feel like yawning and I'm going to do that on the angle brush I love that you know believe it or not I don't think I have a lot of purples in my collection I might be wrong, but I don't think I do. I have them, I'm not saying I don't, but I don't have a ton. So this is a nice palette. The quality is amazing so far. Like, absolutely incredible. I think I might take a little bit of pajamas and just put right next to that. You guys know how much I love shimmer shades. Then I'm gonna take this um, large shader brush and I'm gonna take this fresh face. This is my kind of color, guys. I do have fallout, but I'll, I'll take care of that, don't worry. Oh, so pretty. love that oh that's a pretty shade <laughs> I'm really loving that okay I'm gonna take I like this brush to dust away stuff because it's like it has very um, 
flexible brush bristles I guess and so I'm just gonna dust away my fallout and I'm just gonna take my shader brush no extra product and I'm going around the edges I hadn't worn these shades in so long like this used to be like the shades <laughs> that I would wear the most guys I forgot how much I loved them I love it Okay, I'm gonna take this yawning shade, put that on this outer portion, of the bottom lash line, and then I'm gonna take messy hair and finish the rest of that. And then taking forehead kisses, I'm just gonna blend just a tiny bit so it's not harsh. Then I'm going to take this shade French Doors and I'm going to highlight with that. Oh, that's pretty. That is chef's kiss. Beautiful. Let me finish the eyes off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided I wanted liner. So I used the NYX Epic Ink liner. And my wing got a little crazy. <laughs> I don't usually go that large or even out that far but anyway um so I decided I would put on false lashes and I did so I have on the Ardell wispy lashes so that's what I'm wearing and I also used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara so that's what I did <laughs> this lash gave me a little bit of trouble so if it looks funny just don't look at it too close okay so I'm gonna take the Ace Beauty um, draw it lip liners. I'm going to take the B Peachy one. And then, just for that added step, I'm going to take the Laura Geller um, lip, liquid lip in the shade Beige Bite. That's a little bit lighter. That definitely warmed it up. I feel like the liner itself was more cool toned and then putting the liquid lip made it more warm, I think. Um, so if I was doing this just by itself, I would probably just use the liner, you know, without using everything in my box. So that's just me. That did dry down like super, super quick. Um, I had a little bit of transfer, but it's drying pretty quickly. So. Um, I like it. I do like it. I think that that, um, even this color on its own would be really, really pretty. Do you see the difference? Just for giggles, let's do it. Definitely lighter. And it doesn't look too bad with the eyes. It's not my favorite combination, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, I would definitely wear this with other eye looks, just not these necessarily. But anyway, <laughs> um, I really like my boxes this month. I'm very pleased. Um, I did consider canceling last month completely. Um, and the reason I did that is I just, it's always a toss up. You just never know what you're going to get with Boxy. But that's kind of just what you sign up for when you sign up for a prescription. Or prescription. I say that all the time. I'm a pharmacy tech. Sorry, guys. When you sign up for a subscription box, <laughs> you're signing up to just get what you get. So, um, there might be months that you love what you get, and there might be months that you just don't. So, that's just the nature of the beast. So, um, I do love what I got, and um, I'm really loving these lashes. I haven't worn them in a while, and I forgot how much I like them. So, um, this one's a little crooked, but, you know, we're not going to focus on the negative. We're going to focus on the positive today. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you so very much i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys